Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. The Oregon Department of Transportation is preparing to take out about 100 dead hazardous trees. Kelsey McGee looked into why the trees are dying. Kelsey? Lee, work begins east of Sisters next week. ODOT's Forester says the cause of death is a mystery, but it's not related to an earlier herbicide which killed thousands of trees in 2019. Starting Monday, 100 dying trees will be cut down from the Highway 20 and 126 junction in Sisters west to Subtle Lake. It's expected to finish Friday. Crews with the Oregon Department of Transportation noticed the hazardous trees and marked them. While the agency isn't sure what killed them, ODOT says it could be from drought, stress, or beetle kill. In 2019, more than 2,100 trees were removed along a 12-mile stretch of Highway 20 between Sisters and Camp Sherman. Those trees died after a weed-killing herbicide was sprayed in the area, but ODOT does not believe that had anything to do with the current situation. While there are many dead trees, ODOT is only concerned with the trees that pose a risk to the public. You know, trees die alongside of the highway, but they also die all the way throughout the forest. So we're only, as a transportation agency, concerned with the dead trees along the highway. The Deschutes National Forest says it isn't having issues with more hazardous trees than a normal year. ODOT will be cutting the trees down on both sides of the highway. Flaggers and pilot cars will guide traffic through the tree removal work areas between 7 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. They die over time, and so we make note of that. And then when we can get our crews together and a chainsaw crew together, that's when we set a time to go ahead and remove the trees. Davy said some of the area of these dead trees do overlap with areas where they have done hazard tree removal in the past. Hazardous trees are identified and evaluated by ODOT foresters prior to removal. Lee, back to you.